God damn it. No. <laughs> I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> okay. Bring <laughs> tuna to work. Oh no. Grab tuna's leash and carrier and come to Chelsea Market tomorrow. Don't forget to bring tuna. <laughs> yes. Good morning. What you doing? <laughs> Seems like you're walking backwards. I don't know what I'm. Oh. Three boxes? What should I do with my dog? I mean, finding out that Tuna was coming with me made the 6 a.m. call time a little easier. Introducing Tuna. Say hi, Tunes. Hi, Tunes. Okay. The tunes, number two. <laughs> Feed the beast. She's not a beast. She's a little princess. Tuna, it's Thanksgiving. Honey. A little kibble? <laughs> Ugh. Why am I sitting on the floor of Chelsea Market with three dog bowls in front of me? Because this episode is all about dog food. I knew it. I guessed it last night. My first immediate thought was we're making dog food. Just saying, I know what you're up to. Visit the dog tour. Dog tour. Doctor. This show just gets creepier and creepier. I'm Stacey Albridge. I'm Molly. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, this is Tuna. Hi, Tuna. Do I have to eat dog food today? You can. But do I have to? Well, the food that we're gonna make, or the food you're gonna make, is all I might real want food. To. Okay. You might. I feed tuna dry food, kibble. I'm not proud of it. The thing about dog food and real food is that she's a real animal, so the real food <laughs> is better for her, just like us. They've yeah. done study after study that dogs that eat real food live two to three years longer than wow. dogs that live in packaged food. Wow. Right? I just felt like it was like a lot to take on to make my own. But you start, you can, you can lean into it. You know, like she could have the same meal for three meals in a row and then switch it up. But she should have vegetables in her diet. Yeah. She should have like spinach and you know, collard greens and there's so many things that you can do. So I brought some ingredients. Broccoli, tomatoes, carrots. And if you're like, oh, I don't want to cook all the time or it's yeah. too much pressure. Well, I mean, she doesn't have to eat the same thing every day. Maybe like for breakfast, you feed her like scrambled eggs, blueberries, and rice. What a great meal, right? Wow. Before I met Stacy, I didn't realize just how many human foods dogs are able to digest. She probably shouldn't be eating as much salt as I do. Well, probably not. <laughs> but for the most part, they can eat what we're eating. So that was like a huge takeaway. So there's one big thing that's missing from this. Protein. Protein. So here you go. Harvest some offal. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go get inside some creatures, aren't I? Looks like we're gonna go harvest some offal and we're at Chelsea Market. Dixon's Meat is upstairs, which is like a whole animal butcher shop. So I think that's where we're headed. I think it's this way. I'm pretty sure. It's getting kind of crazy in here. We're in the right place. Well done. Welcome to Dixon's Farmstand. Thank I am Jake you. Dixon, Hi. owner and operator of Dixon's Farmstand Meats. Do you guys make dog food here? We do. The best dog food in the world, I believe. Uh, really? Step into my office. Wow, love your office. This is Eduardo, our head butcher. Hi. And this is basically the offal from one steer. Uh, a heart, a tongue, and a liver. Now, people love, over the last 10 years, talking about offal and whole animal eating. Nobody actually buys it. What is this, though? Now, so there's another aspect to having a butcher shop. This is a feather steak. It's a, I'm not it's, familiar with that. It's not a very normal one. The problem is, this was put in our case yesterday morning, it didn't sell, and now it's oxidized. Yeah. If I, a customer came in, they would not buy it. So it's one-third cooked beef and pork, 
one third cooked sweet potatoes, one third raw apple and carrot go into it. So that gets added at the end. Anything that doesn't make its way into the case as like a premium cut can be made into dog food. Okay, liver going in. Oops. Zero waste, come on. Nice. Is that beautiful, guys, or what? That's as far as we're gonna get. Alrighty. I think I'm supposed to give you... Oh, what do you have, an envelope? I do. <laughs> Here. Go make dog food! Okay, before I leave, I wanna bring Tuna up. Sure. So you guys can meet her. I'll give her a dog treat. Okay. The Dixons staff members were tuna fans before I even got there, so they really wanted to meet her. Okay, well here she is. Hello. This is Tuna. Hi, Tuna. Can I give Tuna a treat? Yeah. Honey. God, not very food motivated today, are we, Tunes? Maybe we overfed you? Bye, everyone, thank you. Nice to meet you all. Take care. <gasps> The cameraman just handed me an envelope. <laughs> Prepare for a meal with man's best friend and man. Make a meal for me and Tunes. If I were to eat a meal with Tuna, the only right way to honor her would be to make a hot dog. Tunes, we're getting hot dogs. Um, maybe I should just get some pickles while we're at it. I wish someone would always hand me a credit card and let me just run wild in Dixon's. Some coleslaw, some deviled eggs. Are you a fan of your mortadella? Yeah. Okay. You guys make all these pâtés in house, yeah? Sure do. Yeah. Oh my god, what are your favorites? I'm excited about this. Do you guys sell bone broth? Yeah. Like hot? Yeah. Also our jerky is really good. Your jerky? I love beef we have jerky. Like 11 kinds of Oh my god. I should have gone for the like 60 day dry age ribeye, but. Do I want to get steaks? How about a little bit of the beef pastrami? And I guess we do need a bag for this stuff. Happy Molly. Me and Tuna are going to Industry City. And yeah, I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna like get super fancy with it. Cause she's, she's a dog, let's be honest. Say something. Say something to me. What if she just started talking? What if she just was like, I don't like sweet potatoes. <laughs> That'd be funny. It's weird to have a co-host that doesn't talk. I'm not really used to that. <laughs> this is the scene four, take one. <laughs> So here we are in Industry City, our fake kitchen. Let's just acknowledge that this is not a real kitchen. So I'm thinking of making her meatballs. So like sweet potato and beef offal meatballs. Um, and then we're gonna have ourselves a little meal together. Let's put it back here. Tuna, sit. Good girl. Look how well trained she is. Good girl. <laughs> Tuna is very well behaved, but it's largely in part due to the fact that she's pretty terrified of everything. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. I swear I've used one of these before. Um, what else? I have my liver. Beautiful bowl of liver. I mean, have you ever seen something this gorgeous? It looks like cranberry sauce. What do you think? Okay, she likes it. I hope that the video that you are now watching will inspire you to make meatballs for your own dog. And also you should definitely tag me if you do that. That's for the people. There is no recipe for this because I've never done this before. I'd say that's about half a cup of rolled oats. Okay, she got one whiff of that liver and now she cannot shake it. These are the things we do for our children. I'm trying to make this as easy on her as possible. What? What? I don't like sweet potatoes. 
probably, if I had it my way, would have served her a honey crisp instead of a red delicious, but a little bit of turmeric for anti-inflammatory. And then also I read that oregano is great for dogs. Also, this will just make it tastier. She's already going crazy for this. So portion size was supposed to be like 200 calories. I have no idea how much that is. Like, how big should my balls be? And we're just gonna do a tester like we would if we were making human meatballs. Love it. Tuna, sit. Good girl. Stay. She's very excited. Okay. <laughs> One fell swoop. She barely even chewed it. It just went straight down. Maybe I should just start a dog food company. Meatballs and more. Molly's meatballs and more? I'm not doing that. One sheet tray done. We'll get these in the oven. Okay. All right, in the meantime, I'm gonna cook up some hot dogs because this is a hot dog. I'm gonna start searing off dogs. Unfortunately, there is a fan in this kitchen that we cannot control. So if you hear a really loud noise in the back of this episode, we are sorry. Let's get these dogs on here. I'm gonna check on the meatballs. They seem cooked and they held their shape and they got a little bit brown. They honestly don't smell bad. Okay, let those cool. Really, I'm just cooking for the crew. That's why we're doing this. Jake said that the optimal way to consume the Dixon's hot dog is with QP mayo, which is a Japanese mayonnaise that's a little bit sweeter than, say, like Hellman's would be, and chow chow, which is their house-made very vinegary pickle relish, and that's it. Maybe we serve the relish alongside. We'll let people do that to order. As long as your dog doesn't have a gluten or wheat allergy, pasta is a good choice because it's usually made with very simple ingredients like flour, water, and eggs, which are all good for dogs. So I made her a little itty bitty spaghetti and meatballs. I made some little carrot sticks for her. <laughs> Delaney. Yo, Molly, heard you were making a family meal for tuna with some hot dogs and thought you could use a little trousseau pet knot to make it nice. Don't let tuna drink too much. <laughs> I love it that I have like somehow figured out to have like a cocktail program woven into my show. Did he personally deliver the pet knot? I doubt it. Yes. Oh, thanks, Delanes. Love you, brother. Come on, Toonie. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> so absurd. Wow. Should we light those candles? Is a little prayer? Baruch atah Adonai, itivan yom, shel shabbat. Shabbat dinner. She'll just have a little splash. I'll have a real glass. Okay, well, it's dinner time. I've set the table. We're here in um, this lovely dining room, just the two of us. And Tuna's about to have her spaghetti and meatballs. Uh, there's one more thing you have to do. Okay. Look under that plate. Oh, Tunes, there's another clue. Answer the door. I was so shocked because he sent me a selfie of himself in a conference room in this meeting that he was supposedly in. Can I have the dog? Hey! <laughs> oh my god, you brought me flowers? You've never done that before, ever. I did that. <laughs> Can I pour you some pet nap? Sure. Delaney hooked us up with 
a yummy pet, I not know, to pair. What do you mean you know? We talked. You, now you're in okay, on it no, with Delaney? Didn't didn't you didn't know that. that. Didn't okay, know. should we give her a red bow or a black bow? I feel like black's more her vibe. I mean, she's gonna be a little overdressed, or we're underdressed. That's pretty cute. This episode was about dog food, but we were at Dixon's, so I picked up Dixon's hot dogs mm. for dinner, and I thought I was gonna be sitting here by myself. But here you are. And so I made Toonie some spaghetti and meatballs and a couple little carrot sticks. And then Can I'll serve you a dog. Yeah, the whole thing, I looked it all up. <gasps> Look at her! You need to pace yourself. Like she oh scarfed those meatballs that I made, like I've never seen her scarf her kibble. She has no. two balls in her mouth at the same time. Okay. No. <laughs> Get off my hot dog, dude. Tuna. <laughs> okay. This right, is well. gonna be a mess later. Out of her butt? Yeah. <laughs> Research shows that dogs that eat like a variety of different foods and not like prepackaged foods live two to three years longer. So she'll be like 26. Yeah. So don't you think it's worth it? Yeah. Why do you deserve to eat as well as you do and your dog eats like So now Ben's gonna make all your food for you now. Right? Yep. I can give you the recipe for the meatballs. Watch this real quick. Oh, is this Gabby's dog? What's these? Who made these? Pucho. Right, you better be good. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not just Tuna who gets it up for my meatball. Um, we can probably not include that. <laughs> Will you guys buy me another weenie dog for doing this episode? You guys want to meet me halfway? No, no, no. <laughs>